This lesson explains how to complete a service order in the Service Live Pro mobile app. Orders in the mobile app must be synced with Service Live in order to submit for payment. When you're ready to complete, tap the Completion button in the lower right corner of the service order. You'll notice that the buttons display in different colors. Gray indicates that the section is optional. Orange indicates that the section is required, but not yet completed. Green indicates that the section has been completed. If a button is a very faint gray, you cannot currently make this selection. Let's first look at resolution comments. This is a required action. Enter your resolution comments and tap Save. If permits are needed, tap Permits. If there are no additional permits, tap Save. You can tap to edit an existing permit. The actual price of the permit may be less than, equal to, or more than what the customer paid. To add a permit, tap Add. When adding a permit, first choose the type of permit, enter the customer charge, and tap Add Photo to upload the proof of permit. If you don't have the actual permit, make sure you attach it prior to final submission for payment. Tap Save to finish adding the permit. Additional Services is an optional section. Tap Save if there are no additional services, or tap a plus button to add the appropriate additional service. Some buyers require references. Tap References. Enter required information, such as serial number, and tap Save. Photos are optional. Tap the icon to select the type of picture, then tap Save. You'll then be able to upload a photo or document to the service order. Some buyers may require parts. If parts must be added to your service order, tap Parts Tracking. To add a part, tap Add Part. Tap the appropriate button to search by model number or part number. In this example, we'll keep the model number selection and tap Search. Tap to select. You can pinch and zoom the image. Tap to select. Select a part and tap plus or minus to increase or decrease the quantity. Then tap Add Selected Parts. To check the availability of a part, tap Check Availability in the lower left corner. Select a single part or select all. Then tap Check Availability. You can select a location and order parts from this screen. To update the status of a part, tap Update Status. On this screen, you can change the status, for instance, changing from Added to Installed. If your service order requires parts, a part must show Installed status before you can complete a service order and submit for payment. Tap to select the new status, then tap Update Status. To add an invoice for parts, tap Add Invoice. On this screen, select the source, enter the invoice number, enter the cost and quantity of each part, and tap to upload the invoice. Then tap Save. Now let's go back to the service completion screen. If you need to collect payment from the customer for additional services, tap Payments. Here you'll tap either check or credit card. In this example, let's look at credit card. Enter each row of information. Credit card number, card type, expiration date, pre-authorization number, double check the amount authorized, then tap save. 
When you're ready to get signatures, tap Signatures on the Service Completion screen. Both the provider and customer signatures are required. If the buttons display in orange, they haven't been completed yet. Let's look first at Provider Signature. On this screen, read the waiver of lien, then tap Agree and Sign. Turn the phone sideways to sign your name with your finger or a stylus and tap Save. When you're prompted to confirm, tap Save again. You'll repeat for the customer signature. Ask the customer to read the information on this screen, then tap Agree and Sign. Turn the phone sideways to have the customer sign their name with a finger or stylus and tap Save. They may optionally add their email address. When prompted to confirm, tap Save again. After the required sections are complete, Checkout will be available on the Service Completion screen. Tap this button once you're ready to complete the order. Confirm that you want to complete the order by tapping Yes. If you do not have pricing permissions for your firm, you will receive a congratulations message. If you do have pricing permissions, for instance, you're an administrator or dispatcher, you can submit for payment to the buyer. Tap Submit for Payment. If the pricing on this screen is not correct, you can tap the field to edit. If pricing is correct, tap Submit for Payment. Then tap Yes to confirm. A final submission screen will display. In this lesson, you learned how to complete a service order in the ServiceLive Pro mobile app.